Hi guys, Nate Pace here. Welcome to another episode of Racing and Wrenching. We're going to be talking with Tim Rose from Bondurant Racing School. And we're going to do a parade lap out here at Road Atlanta. Be local here? No, we're based we're almost the Bondurant Racing School out of Phoenix. So okay. We, we do all the IMSA races, uh, you know, hot laps, pace the races. Uh, just started it this year. Um, we're based out of Phoenix, so... So you instruct down there? I instruct, um, yeah, an advanced instructor, Alan, as well. Um, but I've been, back in June, I was promoted to manager of corporate partnership programs, all our sponsors and stuff. And keep Sounds it. less fun. It, it's, it's More money, but less fun. It's, yeah, it's a little <laughs> more money, but the good thing is, is I'm still, I still have... Uh, students or clients that I work with or coach. That's good. And I still get to go play, so it's 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 actually a win-win, you know. So good. Yeah, no complaints. Find uh, teaching the advanced students, you have to grab the emergency brake less or more. <laughs> um, actually, less. I mean, they uh, they're you know once they get to that level, yeah. they're a little more switched on, and I find you got to work a little harder to stay ahead of them, you know. And there's a couple of young guys that it's. It's almost like okay, you've you've you. Where do I tell you to improve? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're you're there, you know, and so it's it's pretty neat. That's awesome. And a couple guys are currently racing, and like I've got two students that are running the Pro Formula Mazda series uh, for a new team called Havoc Motorsports, and so it's it's pretty cool. They've gotten to the point that you know they're they're sh gonna start showing me stuff here real soon, so it's, it's crazy, awesome. You know. Do you guys use a lot of the data logging for coaching over there? Or is it we, mostly we, just hands-on? It's it's mostly hands-on until they get to the really higher level. Then we do have some AIM uh, brand name AIM data acquisition systems that we can uh, plug into the dash of the Formula Mazda or the Corvette, depending on what that student wants. And then we can we do a lot of stuff with the GoPros. You know, we can download, overlay. Um, you know, split screen, show what the instructor's doing as opposed to what they're doing in the various corners and you know, just showcase that stuff. So I imagine by then you've already focused on turn in, breaking points, things like that. And yeah. It's more trying to smooth out. It's, yeah, it's more trying to smooth out and, and breaking later, deeper, keeping the car more balanced and rolling speed, you know, not scrubbing off too much momentum into the corner and using that. Getting the progression for the tail yeah. brake and stuff. Yeah, just trying to keep the car, you know, a lot of people overslow the cars, and so you got you know not so much when they come from the go karting background, but when you get a lot of a lot of young drivers, guys and gals that you know they get to like the college level and they see this race series on TV or they come and they're like I want to do that and they actually can they have the wherewithal to do it, but they don't have the the years of driving that the karting teaches them. Like and a right. lot of those young drivers end up going to. IndyCar, Formula One, and, and or the you know the world you know the big world endurance yeah. championship and stuff. So even when you start, and I I was guilty of that. You know I grew up in the Detroit area, I wanted to play hockey, but I always loved racing. My father, grandfather, uncles um, would watch the races on TV, and at least get the Canadian the CBC broadcast of all the F1 races and IndyCar yeah. races live. Hard to watch those on uh, US TV. <laughs> yeah, and but get you know it's. It got me, it was just it was just something that no one in my family really was involved with and so I was kind of a late bloomer and so you got to play catch up with all the kids that had already had eight years or more of having the 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 line technique and everything from right. art transfer as they grow old. there's a lot you can learn for uh, trail braking and how smooth you can be oh, backing absolutely. off of the brake pedal yeah, that you brake, get from karting that's that, what we tell the brake pedal is the fastest pedal and you know how to use that pedal to your advantage. Yeah, a lot of people don't, still don't really understand why they have to stab the brakes, get the car set to turn in and snap off and go for it, and then they just end up plowing off the corner. Yeah. It's like, well, let me explain Take how Take all this the weight back off. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Cool. This is the Continental Tire Series Championship, and it's usually, it's, uh, Basically, like American, like the muscle car, Mustang versus Camaro, Porsches, there's some Porsches in there versus the Mazdas and the Toyotas and the Nissans and so. Cool. Parade car dispatch now, parade car dispatch now. Parade car rolling. Yeah, you guys are 
guys aren't doing the van away. <laughs> they don't care. He put his camera down when yeah. we came by. Like, oh, it's just him. <laughs> oh, it's just that. Oh, it's yeah. just that guy. Yeah, yeah. Again. This is one of my favorite tracks of sim race. Oh, I bet. I haven't tried that. You don't get the uh, the elevation feeling. <laughs> Car with me as I back in the spot. That's not that exciting, so I thought this might be more exciting. Yeah, sounds good. 